Welcome yogis. Today we're going to do a short sequence that's going to help you relieve your daily stress. While we're doing this sequence, go ahead and come up with your own mantra for the day. It could be an I am statement. You could just simply say love or no stress. So go ahead and meet me right here in an easy seated, seated position. Go ahead and kind of move yourself around to where you get onto the mat completely. Go ahead and take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and close your eyes and we're going to do this for several more breaths. So inhale. Exhale. While you're doing this, come up with your mantra. Uh, something good would be that I am strong or I am beautiful. Whatever you feel today, just go ahead and repeat that as we sit here. Flutter your eyes open. Bring your hands to your heart space together into prayer position. Go ahead and look down at your hands. You can either look with your eyes open or you can close your eyes. Go ahead and repeat whatever is bringing you here to the mat as we sit here for just a couple breaths. All right, bring your hands back to your knees. Go ahead and take your left hand to your right knee and your right arm behind you. Twist it out a little. If you can't twist all the way around, just go ahead and stay in this position. As you exhale, go ahead and twist a little deeper into the stretch. Come back to center, hands on the knees. Go ahead and take your right hand and we're gonna put it on our left knee and we're gonna do the same stretch, left arm behind you. All right, come back to center. We're going to do a little bit of a seated forward fold. So go ahead and lean forward. Bring your hands out in front of you. If you can't come out too far today, right here is enough. You can either even grab a block or two if you need to and put them under your hands. Whatever feels comfortable on your back. You never ever want to feel pain in your back when you're doing a stretch. And also, yoga is not about going as far as you can. Yoga is about just coming to the mat and feeling good. On your exhales, stretch your hands out just a little bit farther. All right, slowly roll back up into your seated position. All right, we're gonna come into tabletop position. So you wanna make sure that your legs are even underneath you and that your arms are 
shoulder width apart, legs are hip width apart. You want to pull your belly button up towards your back. You want to make sure that you are in a flat back position. You don't want to be looking up and you don't want to be looking down. You want to keep your neck straight out in front of you as we go through this sequence. So inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. On our next inhale and then exhale, we're going to go ahead and drop that belly into a cow position. So inhale, exhale, look forward, inhale, come into cat position, roll your shoulders up, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale, go ahead and do this two to three more times on your own. Right. From here, we're going to come into downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under, bring your hips up to the sky. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. On our next inhale, and then exhale, we're going to step our left foot forward. Inhale. Then exhale, we're going to step that left foot forward. We're going to bring our right toes back to a 45 degree angle. We're going to keep our left arm on our left leg as we twist open. You can stay here and look up at your shoulder. Or you can bring that arm to a straight line in your inside ankle pose. If this is too much, you can lower your knee and bring it behind you and come into side angle pose like this. All right, bring that right arm back to your back leg. We're gonna straighten that front foot, come up straight, bring your left arm down. If you can't quite reach the floor, put your block behind your left foot and then stretch open into triangle pose. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. On your next inhale and exhale, we're going to wring it all out and come back to our low lunge. So inhale, exhale, wring it out. Come into low lunge. If this is too much, you can go ahead and remember to drop that back leg. On our next inhale and exhale, we are going to bring our left foot back to meet our right leg and we're going to come into downward facing dog. So inhale and exhale, come back to downward dog. Let's kind of just pedal our legs out just a little bit. 
like we're walking the dog a little. If this is feeling too much, you can do the downward dog with your knees bent. Inhale and exhale. A lot of people tend to hold their breath while they're doing downward dog. Um, make sure that you're consistent in your inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. On our next inhale, exhale, we're going to come and bring our right foot. We're going to bring our right foot between our hands. So inhale, exhale, right foot between your hands into low lunge. Again, if this is too much, go ahead and lower that leg down and take some pressure off of your off your hamstrings in the back that takes your off your hamstrings, your calves. If it's also if it's too much, you can bring your blocks. Remember, we're going to come into that side angle pose. So on our next inhale and exhale, we want to angle that back foot at a 45 degree angle and come on up. So inhale, exhale. You can bring your foot in just a little. Go ahead and leave your right arm on your right leg. Twist in, look up at your shoulder. You can either stay here or you can bring that arm up straight, that left arm up over your head. Don't forget to inhale and exhale. So inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Okay. On our next inhale, exhale, we're going to come into that triangle pose. So inhale, exhale, straighten that front leg, bring your left arm back to touch your back leg. I'm going to use the block on this side. So you want to put it on this side of your foot and you want to inhale, exhale, come down. It's okay if you fall. <laughs> Come down onto your block and look straight in front of you. If holding your arm up is too much, go ahead and just either bring it to your side or bring it down. Don't forget to keep a little bit of bend in this knee. You don't want to lock it. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. On our next inhale and exhale, we're gonna wring it out and bring it down to our low lunge. So inhale, exhale, wring it out, bring it on down to our low lunge. All right, on our next inhale and exhale, we're gonna bring our left foot back to meet our right foot in between our hands. So inhale, exhale, step that foot forward into a forward fold. Go ahead and bend your knees as much as you need to. You can use your blocks here if you need to, to get into forward fold. Try not to lock those knees if you're gonna keep them straight. Kind of keep a gentle bend in them. Okay, slowly on our next inhale and exhale, we're gonna slowly roll up. Bring our hands up above us. 
We're going to kind of arch our back just a little bit and come into standing mountain pose. I'm going to shift myself over so you guys can see me. So you want to bring your legs hip width apart. You want to plant, spread your toes, plant your toes. I like to spread my fingertips wide when I'm in this position. So inhale and exhale. Really feel that breath opening up your chest and your back. Okay, inhale, exhale. On our next inhale and exhale, we're gonna spread our legs wide. So inhale, exhale, we're gonna bring our feet. I like to bring mine kind of wide. So inhale, exhale, start bending at the knees, bringing our hands together and dropping down into Malasana squat. If you need to, you can sit on your block for some added extra support. This is a great stretch for your whole lower body. If you're gonna do one stretch a day, this would be a wonderful stretch to do for your lower body and hips. So inhale and exhale, inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. On our next inhale and exhale, we're gonna drop our butt to the ground and we're gonna come into uh, the easy seated position. So inhale, exhale, drop ourselves down to the floor, cross our legs. Let's do a little bit of fun. We're gonna opposite cross our legs for the final go around. Adjust yourself how you're needed. So inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Let's remember that mantra that we decided to make at the beginning of the class and why we came to this class. So inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All right, I'm gonna turn. You should, you should be facing the front of your mat, but if you turn with me, come in to face the front of the mat. Come down your knees on kind of an angle. We're gonna do happy baby position. So go ahead and lift your knees and then take your hands and grab the inside of the soles of your feet. You're gonna come into this position. You can kind of roll back and forth if you'd like to give yourself just a little bit of a massage as you're in this position. Remember to inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. If you want to go a little further, you can like to just grab my toes and you can extend your legs in extended baby position. But if not, you can stay in this position. All right. Bring your feet back down to the ground. Then you want to kind of adjust yourself. You want to stretch your feet out look up to the ceiling just let that mantra that you created at the beginning just wash over your body right now um, make sure it's a positive mantra you can either lay with your hands to the floor or you can turn them up we're just coming into a nice relaxation pose you can bring your hands to your stomach if you'd like. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. If you're not comfortable in this position, you can come back to easy seated pose. Um, 
just whatever. Just listen to your breath as you inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. always put your block underneath your head if you'd like. All right, everyone. Let's come up to seated position. I just wanna thank everybody for joining me in my video and in my class that I taught you today. Um, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to comment below and I will get back with you. Um, just bring your hands to your heart center again. Look down at your hands. Remember why you came here. And just coming here is a step in the right to direction for your health, uh, stress relief, any anxiety that you might have. This is a step in the right direction. So have a blessed day and thank you for coming.